So here we were again, trying to track down one of Victor Caldwell's low-life gangsters in another attempt to get a lead on a case that's been fumbling in my hands for months. Huh. At least my newly assigned partner, Stanley Hopkins, was keeping a positive head in a time where nothing seemed to be going our way. It boggles my mind as to why the boss hands me these fresh recruits. I guess it was to keep me in a stable state. Even I could admit that I've been off the eight ball mentally and physically during my work on this case. But hey, two guys are better than one. At least, some of the time. Maybe we were finally nearing the day we put an end to Victor's dodgy drug deals. All right, Stanley, here we are. Blue Flamingo Bar. You know, if it wasn't for this case, I'd probably be in there having a few drinks myself. Haha, <laughs> come on, Cole. We gotta stay focused right now. Yeah, I know. You know, these opportunities haven't been coming around lately, so we gotta take full advantage of this one. Oh, you bit. That's our guy. Let's move. Zonda was. Get back to the car, try to cut him off. This wasn't the result I was expecting, but I'll gladly open my arms to a bit of luck if it means getting a step closer to Victor. Alright, well this is it. 31 Roosevelt Drive. Yeah, just don't fire a gun in there, Cole. We're kind of victim knowing we're here. Yeah, I gotcha. Alright, you go that way. We've got a better chance at surprising Victor if we split up. Where's Victor? Stanley? Well, well, Cole Phelps. 
Gee, I'm surprised you're not the case, George. Cut the crap, Victor. Let Stanley go. I'm sorry, Paul. I feel as though something's lurking on our property. I can take it. And do anything I want with it. You bastard! Murdering has never been your style. Yeah? Well, it's time for me to make a statement, Cole. Whatever, Victor. We were here to put a stop to your drug deals, but now I've got something else against you. So if you don't come down to the station with me right now, then I have no choice but to put a bullet through your head. Go ahead, Cole. I ain't stopping. Stanley was dead, but Victor's case was closed. Maybe Stanley will be standing there with me if I approach the situation a little differently. But a man could spend the rest of his life trying to figure out what he shouldn't have said or done. It was an ugly ending, but that's the life I chose all those years ago, and the life I'll continue to live till I decide my days are up.